so find the shortest distance between the following two points correct 62 degrees north 93 west 62 degrees north 87 east now as soon as you see this in your exam you are already in a hurry to complete uh, like you know you have less time in your exam to do as soon as possible you see 62 degrees north that means these two points are lying on the same latitude 62 degrees sorry 62 degrees north so you will mark this 93 as west okay, let's say you will draw the prime meridian 93 degrees west and you will mark here 87 degrees east right now this is 93 this is 87 if you add these total will be 180 degrees correct now you know along a parallel of latitude the distance in nautical miles is g long that is how many degrees between them into 60 into cos of that latitude cos 62 if you do this so what so that will be 5070 nautical miles and in your answers the first option will be 5070 you will take this and this is a blunder why they have not asked the distance along a parallel of latitude at all they have asked the shortest distance now if you see this as earth let's say this is earth right now let's say this is our equator this is your north pole this is your south pole now if you check out these two the number of degrees between these two longitudes 93 degree west longitude and 87 degree east longitude is 180 degrees that means you no know, this is I this I can write as 93 degrees west and this I can write as 87 degrees east that means they are exactly opposite meridians to each other or for example if I draw a perfect sphere joining north pole and south pole like this perfect circle not a sphere okay on the opposite side of the earth it goes like this right so if this is 93 west this will be 87 degrees east that means they are you know exactly lying opposite to each other for now because this outer markings of this circle black color I will take 93 west and 87 sorry east okay I'll take these two okay so let me wrap the rest okay now on this if I mark this longitude as latitude as 62 degrees north that means equator is 0 degrees north or south north pole is 90, deg 90 degrees north so this is 62 degrees north this is what I assumed so this on this 62 degrees north this point is 93 degrees west right and this is your A and this is your B now see if you are you know like this if you are calculating like this if you are calculating like this you are calculating that you are flying from A to B like this along a parallel of latitude right so now parallel of latitude is what it's a rumb line it is not the shortest distance now flying from a to b should happen on a gc track great circle track to be the shortest possible distance so you will fly like this to the north pole and then fly down from north pole to b so this will be the shortest distance and we will see how much difference you know in nautical miles it will be now see from 0 degrees north to south to north pole it is 90 degrees right and till here till, till this A it is 62 degrees now if this is total 90 and this is 62 how much is this part this part will be 90 minus 62 uh, 28 degrees correct and of course here also 62 and this will be how much 28 degrees so total from A to B if you are flying like this 28 plus 28 the so total will be 56 degrees now 56 degrees you are traveling on a great circle track 
Now on grade circle track, 1 degree is equals to 60 nautical miles. I am not going into the basic basics. This is how, you know, like consider, I will consider you already have an idea about this. So now, 56, like how much distance from A to B via this track? Like let us understand. So distance is equals to number of degrees on a great circle track into 60, 56 into 60. That will be equal to 3360 nautical miles. So this is your correct answer, not 5070. Now see, 5070, just if you are travelling, you are travelling so much, around 5000 nautical miles, but you can cut it out to, you know, only 3300 nautical miles if you follow a great circle track. Hope this video helps for your exams. And please don't mark as soon as you see this answer in your exams. No. Good luck.